Hey, I just started cooking a recipe with pork chops and a red wine sauce. So I, I already seared the pork chops until they were kind of nice and crispy. Cut them up into about like an inch and a half size chunks. Um, those are already done. You pull those off on a plate. I did that in a skillet. I just finished that. Now I'm going to dump in. You can either use butternut squash or you can use carrots. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to put this in and then also the onions. We're gonna saute these. We're gonna saute these for about six to eight minutes. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. After six to eight minutes, add your garlic. Um, you can also do this earlier if the onions become translucent. And just stir this for about a minute until the garlic becomes fragrant. Okay, at this point you're going to transfer your onions, squash, or carrots, and garlic to a slow cooker if you're choosing to cook in the slow cooker. I'm doing the slow cooker because it's a little bit easier for me and then I can just let it cook over time. So these need to be sauteed before you put them in. So you're gonna add these in. The slow cooker's already been preheated, so it's already hot. Then you're gonna add your liquid with it. So that'll be a cup of red wine. And also a cup of chicken stock. And you add the rest of your spices. So I didn't have all the rosemary and all that, so I'm just using Italian seasoning. That'll do just fine. If you wanna do the bay leaves and the rosemary sprigs, go right ahead. And pepper. I'm gonna add any of the salt, stir it up. Should be hot. So once all that's in there, you're actually going to add the meat. So this is a little bit more complicated because you're doing it in the crock pot as opposed to a Dutch oven. So now we're just going to add the meat back in. We're going to let that cook for an hour. It's an hour and a half on high. So I'll see you all in an hour. Okay, so about an hour after having all the meat and the butternut squash simmer. You'll add in the mushrooms. You'll notice that all the pork's gonna take on the color of the red wine, so it's gonna get really dark. You'll just mix it in, put the lid back on, and let it go for another hour. Just 10 minutes ago, I mixed a half a tablespoon of flour and a half a tablespoon of butter, mashed it together and mixed it into here. Um, it thickened up the sauce a little bit. And now all there is left to do is pull this out, serve it over mashed potatoes, polenta, rice, anything that you find would go well. I have cauliflower. and just pour it on top. Happy cooking.